Hello my friends, welcome to your angel reading for this week. Actually, it's timeless, so whenever you're seeing this reading or whenever it is finding you, it is for you, no matter when it was posted. If you like this style of reading, I encourage you to check out the playlist. There is an entire playlist of angel readings on my channel. By the way, I'm Cindy and this is Bringer of Light Intuitive. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Anyway, if you like this style of reading, check out the playlist. No matter when they were posted, they are all timeless. So whatever jumps out at you, whatever sounds like your story, or sounds like <clears throat> it might resonate for you, it's probably a message for you. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. What do you need to know this week at this time, whenever you're viewing this reading from your angels? What is the angel message for you? Spirit animal. Let me get another message, another card for this spirit animal, spirit animal, the miracle of nature. So I have one flip here, learning experience. You've been going through a learning experience. You've been going through a lot of changes and I feel like what's, what's really beautiful here is this is coming up in your strength position. I have the healing energy here and I feel like it's being it's it's showing me that you've been through going through some sort of healing and I feel like you really connect with nature. So I have the the miracle of nature and spirit animal. I love this. This has literally never come out before for a for an angel reading especially in the the uh strength position which is what we're looking at. So I feel like maybe in in your body this could be in your body. This healing energy could be in your body. I feel like maybe you you have this, this beautiful healing energy when you get out in nature. So whatever it is that you've been going through, some sort of healing, and it could be in your body, in your health, it could be anything really. Because, you know, we, we have heart healing, we have chakra healings, we have, we have energy healing, we have all kinds of healing that we're all going through with the crazy changes and everything that's been happening, right? But I feel like your angels are telling you that you get out in nature and you maybe you feel very connected with nature, with animals in nature, birds especially are showing up here, Any, anything though. Anything in nature, I feel like you feel whole, you feel healed, you feel inspired. Maybe just taking a, a walk every day um, helps your body to heal, helps to move your energy, helps to help you, helps to help you <laughs> balance your chakras. I feel all this, this energy of healing and I feel like it comes from you and for you in nature. I love this. <laughs> um, anyway, so I feel like this is coming out in your superpower position. So it's, it's your superpower right now. So if you are finding healing light, healing energy out in nature, taking a walk or connecting with your animals that you connect with that you feel whenever you see them you feel like there's a message from your angels or you feel a connection to nature or you just feel like you're not alone whatever it is you're connecting in nature you're connecting with nature you're connecting with your animal tribe okay and it's really healing for your body it's healing for your energy it's healing for your mind it's healing for your heart and this is coming out in your strength position. So I feel like this is a very specific <laughs> specific message for somebody specific this at this time. Spirit Animal says, thank you, Animal Kingdom, for blessing my path with love. And the miracle of nature. Thank you, angels, for helping me to reconnect through nature and fresh air. Maybe just feeling it. all the green on this energy too is is very heart chakra energy for me. So I feel like you're going through, and I have chills now. I feel like you're going through some sort of really beautiful healing, and maybe just the fresh air and seeing the angel, the angels, seeing the 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 angels of the 
of the animal kingdom. <laughs> seeing nature, seeing, you know, connecting with birds, butterflies, whatever it is for you, because it's going to be different for everybody. I feel like that makes you feel very healed, very whole, very good. So keep doing that. Because <laughs> your angels are saying, well done, keep doing that. Because that's in your strength position. So let's see what your heart wants to say, what your heart wants to add to this. I even see on the healing caduceus, you know, there's there's feathers. So I feel like in nature, maybe you see, maybe you see feathers. You know, maybe you connect with with trees. Maybe you connect with flowers because I'm seeing all of it here, but I'm also noticing there's a bird. So specifically, maybe there's birds that you connect with specifically that you feel like they're your angels. They're your guides. Comment below and let me know because I want to know who I'm reading for because I feel like this is a very specific reading for someone very specific. What does your heart want you to know? Trust your vibes and shine your light. What else? What else? What else? What else? Spiritual gifts. So I feel like what you're, you're experiencing is, I feel like you are experiencing, maybe you're coming into some sort of intuitive gifts, some spiritual gifts, and maybe you're experiencing changes because we have been going through a lot of changes in the energy and a lot of, you know, well, big changes with the eclipse season and everything that's been going on recently. You might be evolving into a higher version of yourself and maybe your vibes are telling you maybe you're you're experiencing vibes or a change in your vibes a change in your spiritual gifts i feel i'm i'm feeling like maybe you're an animal healer or something i'm feeling like you're coming into your spiritual gifts or they're increasing in some way and I feel like your your heart is telling you, go with this change. The things that you're feeling and the things that you're sensing, perhaps you're receiving psychic hits and or messages and stuff. Maybe you've never experienced that before and you're like, what's going on? So I feel like trust your vibes because I feel like your intuitive sense is telling you that this is, this is you coming into some sort of a spiritual gift or an increase in your spiritual gifts. There's like expansion energy here. There's some sort of increase. And I feel like your maybe your heart is telling you that this is this is real and to go with it, but then maybe your mind is like what's going on? Maybe you're feeling a little uncertain. So it's telling you to trust your vibes. Trust your vibes. Let it unfold because I feel like you are coming into some sort of spiritual gift or an increase in your gift that's your light. Your light is shining brighter. And I feel like you're being called. And maybe you connect with nature. Maybe you connect with animals that are, maybe that has to do with your spiritual gifts. And maybe you're being called to step into your power in a bigger way. It's all about shining your light and it's all about something that, you, you know, it's like your, um, your gift to the world. It's, it's, it feels like a call. It's very interesting and it's very interesting. Trust your vibes on it because your heart is literally, this is in your heart position and we have the heart right here. Interesting. So your heart is telling you to move forward in whatever it is that your vibes are telling you is going on here. And it's a part of you stepping into your power, you stepping into your calling, your purpose, and shining your light for the world. Because you know what? The world needs your light. You can call on Archangel Uriel, and we have Archangel Raziel here who will help you with this if you, if you work with the angels and you want to call on them to help you to just... Be more clear about what it is that you're feeling. Anyway, 
It says, thank you, angels. Today I choose to trust my intuition and your guidance. I love that. Archangel Raziel, thank you, Raziel, for helping me channel my gifts and talents. And Uriel, who is the Archangel of Epiphanies, by the way, you might have gotten an epiphany and you're wondering, like, what is this? Archangel Uriel will help. Archangel Uriel, thank you for helping me to share my light in the world. I feel like you're stepping into a calling. And I feel like your, your, your spiritual gifts are increasing somehow. Maybe it's time for you to step into your purpose, into your calling that is... I feel like it's a higher higher calling than whatever you were doing prior. And you may be doubting yourself. You may be questioning yourself. You may be second-guessing yourself. And your heart is saying, no, 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 no. This is definitely your angels. <laughs> You're being led and guided over here. And maybe you receive some of that guidance from the animal community. All right. What is it that you might be struggling with or challenged at this time. Let's see, we've got earth and ground. Staying grounded. Are your gifts kind of scaring you a little bit? I've got the inner power, the divine fa father, which is the divine masculine. Stepping into your power, really. And being grounded in that power. Let me get one more card. This is quite an interesting reading today. All right. The inner power is divine masculine energy. The divine father. This is divine masculine energy, and I feel like you are... So you might be struggling with the changes that are taking place on the inside of you. And really, your angels are telling you, breathe. It's okay, because what is happening is you're being guided and you're being led in your spiritual gifts. You're being led into your purpose. You're being, there's some sort of call here. And I feel like it's, it's something of an up leveling. And so ground into your power, like really embrace this. This is your gift. This is your contribution to the world. This is you being blessed and it may not feel that way right now, but needing to ground, needing to stay grounded, and needing to really listen to that power on the inside of you because you're, you're being called. And it's going to, you're being led, you know, and it's going to end up literally leading you to your vulnerability and your freedom. What I love about this card is the word freedom. And so I feel like you're sort of in this transition right now, transitioning in your spiritual gifts somehow. And I feel like it may be kind of putting you in your head. And so just trust, trust the unfolding, trust the process as best as you can answer this call because it's putting you into a place of power and it's literally putting you into a place of freedom. I don't know if that means financially. I don't know. I don't know what that means exactly for you. But it's, it's, this card really reminds me of the star in the tarot every time I see it. And I feel like that, that, that freedom talks about like freedom in your health, freedom in your body, freedom to be who you are truly, truly meant to be. And also it's, it's leading you to some sort of wish fulfillment too, you know? And so I feel like you're being called to really step into your power step into your take authority over your life and step into this power that is <clears throat> a higher version of whatever it is that you were prior to this a higher version in your spiritual gifts a higher version of your power you taking control and taking authority and really stepping into that power to be who you were meant to be i feel like you know who you are meant to be here with that, with this star energy. It's like really stepping into your, your most authentic you and not being afraid to let your spirit and your, and your gifts shine to let your spiritual gifts shine because 
you're meant to shine and you're meant it's going to bless you and it's going to put you into a place of where you like people need you and the universe is telling you whoever this reading is for the universe is telling you it's time it's time for you and you are going to be very happy that you that you did this so stay grounded and embrace this energy and answer the call and you'll be led and you'll be guided every step of the way don't you worry because you've got the Divine Father here as well as your angels you've got some powerful archangels here and be open to epiphanies be open to ideas be open to inspiration that is leading you in the way that you are going remember you're connected to that power that light is it's leading you where you are meant to go so just just allow it to unfold keep following your light clear your vibes don't get in your head about this breathe you know and ground stay in nature because that helps you to ground and follow what follow what's lighting you up there's a reason for it i hope this helped let me know who i'm reading for because i feel like this was for one of you <laughs> this week i feel like this reading is definitely specific and so i would love to hear who i'm reading for let me know in the comments below if you want your own angel reading that go to my booking page in the description box and select whatever reading resonates for you and then but in the notes tell me you want an angel reading and I'll be happy to do that for you I'll see you in the next reading remember these are timeless so whenever you're finding it it's for you